ticket start sales tomorrow. Uh, what's important to know is this is a first uh, random selection draw, uh, first sales phase, which means it's no uh, difference if you come tomorrow, the next day, in three days, in four days, in five days, in ten days. We will collect all the requests from all the fans around the world uh, until beginning of October and then we will draw uh, from all the requests the lucky winners of the tickets. So there is no need to rush, there is plenty of time to go on FIFA.com and uh, submit your order. Uh, with all the different steps uh, which I explain, explained on FIFA.com and will be explained in different ways. It will work like that. Uh, you have to go on FIFA.com, you set up your account, you put your payment in and then you submit, you look on the match schedule, you submit your orders. You have to respect the household restriction which is four tickets per game, per family, for a maximum of seven games. Uh, you cannot order for tickets the same day for two games, two different games. Uh, and then you just, just submit your order and you have to wait until beginning of October when we will do the draw and we, you will then be informed by FIFA if you have been a lucky uh, fan and which tickets will be attributed to you or, or not. The tickets available for the first sales phase will be around a million. A million tickets for all different games, for all 64 games will be available for the first sales phase. Uh, the tickets which then which will not be attributed in the first uh, in the random selection draw will then go for a first come first serve, uh, end of October for general public again, where really the tickets which will be available, people can go online, can select the game and they will get the ticket attributed immediately, to be honest. But to be honest, this is a minority of tickets which most probably will be left over after this first uh, random selection draw. The difference to the FCC is definitely that what we will have on the FIFA.com is an explanation because we found out that we have been criticized heavily on categorizations, to be honest, because yes, we know that the categorization in Brazil is different to the rest of the world or to the standard what we are buying. So we will have explanation on categorizations uh, on FIFA.com to explain everybody before they submit their orders on tickets on categories where they could potentially be located so there cannot be any, call, uh, any misunderstanding any longer. So when they apply they know in which sector they could be located and then they can apply for tickets. The other difference uh, from the FCC is definitely distribution of tickets, which there as well we have faced some uh, challenges, to be honest. What we have decided is definitely to open the FIFA ticketing centers here in Brazil much earlier, so around the 15th of April we will open the ticket centers to distribute the tickets, so to allow fans, mainly Brazilians, to come and collect their tickets early, really early to have their tickets and to have an enjoyable day once they come to the game, that they have not to stand in line the day of the game to pick up the tickets, but they can do it so much earlier. And the other point we have changed is also we will give fans options to have tickets shipped home, to be honest. So the tickets can be sent home and uh, this is an option which we will provide to the fans. They can select if they want this to be done the price will be communicated to them and then they can select this option or either to come early and pick up their tickets in the FIFA venue ticketing centers. We have created a fan guide actually which you can see here which is an explanation of different steps and different uh, things on ticketing which is explained in easy words, not in a technical language but hopefully easy to understand for the fans on what you can do on tickets. How can you, can you uh, put them on a resale platform? Can you exchange name of the, of the applicants and so on and so forth? So all those details are definitely, all those details are definitely in this guide in a language which is easier. So now we have translated that in all the different languages and we hope that that helps 
uh, to explain different steps on ticketing.